Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to calculate maintenance capital expenditure. Now, many of you would be aware that maintenance capital expenditure is one of the two numbers that we need when we're calculating cash flow for owners. And cash flow for owners is a cash figure that best represents how much cash is returned to us as shareholders in a particular period in terms of dividends or through the value of the business increasing, which results in a higher stock price. And if you don't know anything of what I'm talking about here about cash flow for owners or maintenance capital expenditure, then make sure you go ahead and check out the video that was dedicated to cash flow for owners before you watch this video. Uh, I did a video on it a while back on my channel and I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. So watch that one first and then come back and watch this one. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get straight into it. If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like or hit subscribe if you're new around here and always, as always, leave a comment uh, letting me know about uh, what you thought about the video. Any feedback is very much appreciated. But for now, let's jump into it. Now, before we talk about what maintenance capital expenditure is, it's important to discuss what total capital expenditure is. So maintenance is a smaller proportion of the overall CapEx number that you will find in the financial statement. So let's start by talking about total CapEx and then we'll work into uh, how it breaks down into maintenance and other types of capital expenditure. So uh, pretty straightforward, the definition of total capital expenditure is cash used by a business to acquire, upgrade, or maintain physical assets. So in other words, it's cash, it's money spent by a business on the long-term assets within the business. And these kinds of long-term assets could in include things such as uh, new buildings. It could include things such as new equipment or new machinery. Those are the kinds of spendings that are considered capital expenditure. Spendings, cash spendings on long-term assets. And really this number breaks down into two different categories of capital expenditure. The first category is of course, maintenance capital expenditure, and we'll discuss that in a second. But the other category is growth capital expenditure. So let's start by talking about those two categories uh, before we start talking about how you can identify specifically what is maintenance capital expenditure. So let's start by talking about growth capital expenditure. And the definition of growth capital expenditure is money used by the business in capital expenditures that aims to increase the future cash flows of the business. So it's capital spending on long-term assets that aims to increase the future cash flows of the business. And there's a few different types of ways that a business can spend money to, uh, with the aim of trying to increase future cash flows. One way is that they could upgrade or add new machinery. So maybe they have some kind of machine or some kind of uh, production facility that can produce a certain amount of products over a certain period of time. And in order to increase the cash flows of the business, they might spend some money to speed up that process or to make it cheaper, make the process cheaper. So those are the kinds of uh, actions, cash spendings on long-term assets that would contribute to higher cash flows in the future. And we consider those growth capital expenditures, cash expenditures with the aim of growing the cash flows of the business. And then we have what's called maintenance capital expenditure, which is CapEx spendings that do not increase the future cash flows of the business. So we had growth, which is money being spent to upgrade machinery, to add new buildings or buy a new property in order to increase the cash flows of the business. But now we have maintenance, which is money spent that does not increase the cash flows of the business. So this would include things such as restoring or repairing machinery. You, a business might have a piece of machinery that's you know working as normal and then it breaks down. If the business spends $1,000, $10,000 fixing that machine, just restoring it to how it was working before, then they've spent some money on CapEx, but the future cash flows of the business did not go up because it's just getting it back to normal working order. So that is considered a maintenance capital expenditure. Also, just a quick interruption. I apologize for this stupid fly that keeps coming in and out of my set. Um, I spent about 10 minutes before this video, before recording this video, trying to get it out but I, I couldn't get it out. So um, the fly is just gonna be a part of today's video, unfortunately. 
So now that you know what total capital expenditure is, you know what components make up total capex, growth capex, and maintenance capex, uh, let me show you now how you can actually go out and find and estimate what the capital maintenance capital expenditure figure is so that you can do your cash flow for owners figures. So for that, let's jump over to my computer so that I can show you how exactly to do it. All right, so the first step we want to take when we're calculating maintenance capital expenditure is to, of course, find total capital expenditure. So uh, using Apple Incorporated as an example here, uh, we want to head over to the investor relations page and find the latest annual report available for the company. So uh, if we scroll down a little bit here, we can find the latest Form 10K annual report for Apple 2019. We'll click on that. And then the fastest way to find main, uh, find total capital expenditure is going to be by doing a search in the document. So if you're on a Windows computer, hit Control F on your keyboard. And if you're on a Mac like myself, you want to hit Command F and that will pull up a little search bar and then you can search. So there's a couple of main things you want to try and search. The first, of course, would be capital expenditure. Uh, and uh, in this circumstance, you can see that cap that allowed us to find the capital expenditure number for Apple in 2019, which is written here as $7.6 billion. Uh, but sometimes you need to search other things like uh, investing activities is another one. Uh, for Apple, you can see that it doesn't actually show us uh, what the capital expenditure is by searching that. Sometimes you can search capital assets. Uh, that's another one uh, for Apple that worked as well. But you want to use one of those key search terms in order to find this line, which basically says the company's capital expenditures were $7.6 billion during whichever year you're looking at. Okay, so now that you're able to find the total capital expenditure number in the financial reports, you now need to estimate or figure out what proportion of that total capex number is maintenance and what proportion is growth. And there's three key ways that management will talk about maintenance capital expenditure in the financial reports. The first is what I call explicit maintenance capital expenditure. And this is where it is completely transparent and completely straightforward what the maintenance capital expenditure figure is. It's where management just comes out and says, hey, this is how much we spent on maintenance. This is how much we spent on growth. And some businesses do this. It's not the most common method, uh, but on screen is an example of a business uh, which does this, that it being Thor Industries. And you can see that uh, they mention explicitly how much is being spent on maintenance and explicitly how much is being spent on growth. The second way that management talks about maintenance capital expenditure and the most common way that you will see management talk about it is what I would call implicit uh, maintenance capital expenditure. So this is where it's stated, but it's not stated clearly. It's kind of implied. It's suggested in the way that management has written their paragraph about capital expenditures. So uh, maybe they've said some things, but it could still lean either way. It's not super clear that there's a particular amount that is maintenance and a particular amount that is uh, growth. So an example of this is uh, Texas Roadhouse. And for Texas Roadhouse's capital expenditure, you can see that it is broken down into a number of categories. Uh, one is for new restaurants, and then there's a couple other categories. So it doesn't explicitly say what is being used to maintain the business or to grow the business, but you can, it's implied, you can infer that uh, because they're spending a certain amount on new restaurants, you can infer that that new restaurant spending is likely going to be growth capital expenditure. And you can infer that any money spent on refurbishments or existing restaurants is likely going to be maintenance capital expenditure. But again, it's not super clear. It's not explicit. You have to sort of bring uh, your understanding of the business and the industry into that component of uh, estimating maintenance capital expenditure. And then the final way that management will talk about this, and unfortunately, this is also a very common thing that you will see in businesses, is that management doesn't say anything about maintenance capital expenditure. They just list the CapEx number, the total CapEx number, and they say pretty much nothing about what they spent their money on. Uh, 
Um, and this is puts us in a tricky space because then we have to decide what we're going to do. And there's really two key things you can do when this happens. The first is that based on your understanding of the business and the industry, you can estimate a percentage. So that's what some people do. And the second thing that you can do is you can just be super conservative and assume that all of their capex is maintenance because that is ultimately the most conservative way that you can approach this is to just assume that all of it is maintenance and that they're spending nothing on growth, even though in most circumstances, that's not actually true. Now, there are some other methods online about using uh, changes in revenue and changes in capital assets. Uh, there's some fancy formulas that you can use to go out and calculate maintenance capital expenditure. And uh, if you want to use those methods, by all means, go ahead and do it. Uh, for me, I like to keep it really simple because I don't think that this is a particular place that we need to spend too much time on. Um, if I come up with $3 billion of cash flow for owners versus uh, 3.5 or 2.5, it's not going to make as much of a difference as the growth rates will make a difference in my calculations. So I care a lot more about making sure my ca uh, my growth rates are accurate. When it comes to this kind of this side of things, if it's not super clear, I'll just lean on the side of being conservative. Uh, whether that means if it's a growth company, maybe I'll say 50% is growth and 50% is maintenance. If it's not a growth company, if they're not growing quickly, I'll just assume that all of it is maintenance capital expenditure. But basically what I'm saying here is that when you're in doubt, just be conservative. It's always best to lean on the safe side when you're doing this kind of analysis. But uh, that's all we had time for for today's video. And uh, for those who are looking forward to seeing this video, I hope it provided some more clarity uh, so that you can go out and do this on your own and do it for businesses that you're looking to analyze. So I'd love to hear your feedback down in the comment section below, positive or negative, I don't care. Um, I like to read it anyway and help it because it helps me improve. Um, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe. If you're new around here and you want to see more content like this, plenty more videos like this coming out in the near future. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.